Hey there, it's Jim from Janku, and we're going to take a look at another GIMP tutorial today. I'm going to recreate a Photoshop tutorial I found where they stretch the pixels out to create a circular ring around an image. So over here in Firefox, I have the original video that I found. So this is by Adobe Creative Cloud, and it talks about stretching the photo. So you can see the, the final product here, and then they go quickly through how to set that up. And I actually went through and I found where the initial post was on Adobe's website. So if you come in here, it does a step-by-step -step tutorial. And at the very top here, they have the actual assets for this tutorial. So let's go through and see if we can recreate this in GIMP and see how all that goes. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click Get Files. That's going to save this zip file to my computer. If I come in here, I can click on that. And then if I open the Stretch Effect folder, there's a PSD file in here, and this has the jump image. So I'm going to come in here, and if I just double click this to open this PSD file, it should open it in GIMP, okay? So it opens up in GIMP over here. Get our other dialog here. Let's come here and say, okay, convert. That's great. Now we can come in here and we can close out of this dialog. Awesome. So we have our image here, and this is at 50% scale, so it's a fairly large image, which is nice. And we can come in basically just start recreating what they're doing in the video. Now the video is a little confusing because the tools are a little different in GIMP than they are in Photoshop, but basically the first thing they do is they come and they do a selection of colors across a section here where they get a couple of different colors. And basically what we want to do here is we can use our rectangular select tool to replicate what they're doing in the video. And I'm just essentially going to zoom in a little here, and I'm just going to go from edge to edge of the color. So right here, I'm going to start on that edge, and I'm going to go all the way across over here to the edge of the hand. And we basically want to get somewhere where we don't have any white space on the outside, so like kind of where this transparent background is in the middle here or on the edges. We don't really want that. And essentially what we want to do here is we want to make sure that we're only getting a single color. So the way I can do that is I can come and change this to a height of one pixel over here on the left hand side under my rectangular select tool settings. If I press enter, you'll see this strip actually shrinks down to a one pixel strip. And then we can come in here and we can move this around a little bit. So I can hold control and I can zoom on my mouse wheel. And then that allows me to click in the middle here and I can pull this to certain sections. So for instance, over here, I, I might want this to be right at the bottom of the armpit there and then make sure that it's not over the edge of the arm here and that looks good on that edge and then I can just come across to this other edge over here and make sure that we are on that edge there. So I might grab this edge and just pull it in a little bit and I think that looks pretty good. So now that we have our selection you can see that it's a one pixel selection because these little <laughs> squares here are exactly the height of it. I'm just going to press Control C to copy that selection and then I'm going to control V to paste it. And you'll notice that a floating selection is pasted over here in my layers panel on the right hand side. I'm going to right click on that and I'm going to say, put that into a new layer. Now I'm just going to toggle the visibility of my initial layer off with this full picture here. And so I can focus on this little strip of color here. So it's a one pixel strip and you can tell they just look like little color blocks since we shrunk that size down to that height. Now, the next thing we want to do is we actually want to come and we want to stand this up vertically and we can do that with our rotate tool. So I'm going to go over to my tools panel over here and I'm going to click the rotate tool. But an important thing that we do here is make sure that your interpolation settings are set to none. So interpolation is going to try to assume what pixels are happening in between an image when you distort it. So for instance, if you were scaling an image and you had interpolation on, it's trying to assume what pixels are in between those if you scale an image up, and it allows you to preserve some of the quality of your image. But since we're really just interested in the color swatches here, we're gonna set the interpolation to none, and it's actually going to allow us to have the distinct colors that we want and not have any kind of like transparency or anything like that introduced into our image. So let's come in here, let's click on this swatch of colors, and then I'm just going to go to my rotate panel. I'm just going to rotate this 90 degrees. I'm going to type that in to the dialog here and then I'm going to press rotate. So I got to zoom out a little bit to find out where my thing is. Okay, so here's my color swatch again. I can zoom in and you can see that these are nice solid colors still. There's no transparency introduced, so that's awesome. And then I can come over here to my scale tool. I'm going to click that. And again, I'm going to make sure my interpolation is set to none, not linear. And if I click that, 
then I can come in here and if I just zoom out a little bit so I can see where my handles are, okay. So I have handles up here. I'm going to make sure that my width and height is not linked here because I want to scale these not proportionally. I'm just going to grab an edge here and I can start scaling these out like that. If I zoom out a little bit, you can see here, maybe I can grab in the middle and I can grab this and, and scale these both out a little bit. I'm going to zoom out a little bit more so it's easier to see. And let's just scale it somewhere around here and say OK. Now if we put our image back on, we can kind of see where things are at with our image. So that might be OK. Maybe I want to increase the height a little bit. So again, with my scale tool, I can click on my current layer and I can maybe just drag it down a little bit like that. That's probably fine right there. I'll press scale again. And now we're in pretty good shape there. So I'm going to grab my move tool real quick. I'm just going to reposition this so it's kind of centered over the image like that. I think that looks nice. And now what we can do is we can go up to our filters with our, our color layer selected here. Let's go up to our filters and go to distorts. And then on distorts, let's do polar coordinates. If we click that, you can see this preview here of the polar coordinates. So that looks fine, I think. Um, before I actually go and set this, I might just cancel out here. I'm just going to duplicate this layer in case we want to do some more manipulations to it. So I copy the layer and let's just distort this layer copy. I'm going to turn off the visibility on the initial layer there. And again, I'm going to go up to my filters. Let's go to distorts and let's go to polar coordinates. And we have that and let's just say that's okay there. And then let's grab this and let's pull this below our initial layer so it appears behind it like that. And then essentially we have this picture and we can move this around if we want this to be in a different position. And see, this is a little bit small here, so we might actually want to scale up our initial image before we do this. I think, you know, we could come in here and we actually could scale this if we wanted to. So we have this layer selected here. Come to our scale tool and we could grab this and we could scale this up. So if we want this to be proportional, I could hold down on my shift button here and that will scale proportionally and then I could just unselect and say scale. So maybe that's fine. Maybe we want it like that. We have a little bit of a seam there. I don't really like how that looks. One thing we could actually do is we could come in and we could just rotate this. So the seam is down where the section where we're going to erase is. Let's just rotate that. That's fine there. And again, maybe we want to position this so we see a little bit more of the blue color. I don't know. Uh, we could go back and reference the initial video if we really want to see what it was like. Okay, so it looks like some of the hand is sticking up there, but then it goes to the hand over here and connects to the foot down there. So let's switch back here. So that's kind of what we have going on here. The hand sticking up a little bit. Ours, our image is a little bit larger than the image that's referenced in there. But essentially what they do afterwards is they come in here and they grab the erase tool, eraser right here, and then essentially make sure that your bottom layer is selected here. And you can come in here and basically just erase the background in a certain section here. And they just erase everything up to this bottom foot here, down like this. And there you go. And essentially, you have a well, ours is a little distorted now because of our scaling of that, which doesn't look all that great. So maybe we want to come back in here and let's go back to our initial pasted layer here and get rid of this. We might want to scale this up a little bit like this first. So let's come to our scale tool. Let's grab this layer, our pasted layer here. And again, let's just grab this and let's scale this up a little bit. I want some more blue, so I might kind of scale it like that. And I might even come in here. There's a lot of reds going on and not a ton of the blue. So I might just scale this and then I would even come in here and I might do something kind of funny. Like I might even just, let's grab this selection here. Let's start with this black section here and grab this red. I might even cut this and then paste it to a new layer, to a new layer. And then I'd grab it with my move tool and I might even just move it down like this, so there's less reds, there's more blue. And then I might just come in here and I might just do something like a, a merge down. So we're selecting our top layer and these are two independent layers right now. You can kind of see we have two layers, but I can come in here and right click and I can merge down so we can combine those two layers into one layer. And then it looks like I left some of the red at the top here. So we might just want to um, actually come in here and just like crop this out. So I could go to my crop tool and I could select this whole section down here 
And I actually only want the current layer to crop, so I don't want to crop out the whole background. So I'm just going to select current layer and I'm going to press enter. And now we have this layer here that's cropped and the colors are, are kind of what we want. But again, we're going to have to scale this again since it's a little small. So I'm going to come to my scale tool one last time. That layer is selected I'm going to grab it. I'm just going to extend it a little bit and press scale. Okay, so that looks good. Actually, you know, I think it's a little, I'm gonna press Control Z, I'm gonna scale it again. I think we want it so the hand can stick out a little bit. Let's scale it something like that. Scale, and then again, let's come up to, well, before I do that, I'm gonna duplicate my layer in case I wanna use this again. And then let's come up to our filters, our distorts, and then let's go to our polar coordinates. And let's see that, that's probably okay. And let's press OK. Let's hide that pasted layer there. And let's just, uh, let's rotate this down like that. Rotate. And let's move this to the back again. OK, this is looking pretty good. And then we can move this, say, that's a little small. It's a little smaller than I want. So you could come in here. Again, I'm playing with this. You don't have to play with this as much as I am, but uh, one way you could just do this is you can increase the size. So let's just increase this one last time. And I'm gonna grab it like that. I'm gonna scale it out, scale it out. Okay, scale. Duplicate this, come in here, come to filters, distorts, and polar coordinates. Okay, that looks good. Let's drag this down, hide this. Now we're looking kind of cool here. All right, now let's grab this and let's rotate this layer down like this, rotate it. Okay, that's great. Let's move it up a little bit. Again, let's have it so the toe goes all the way to the edge here and the hand goes all the way to the edge. That looks awesome. And then let's just come in here and let's grab our erase tool again and let's just erase parts of this background here. Now, since we're selected on this bottom layer here and there's not this top layer, even if we draw over the top layer with our eraser here, it's not going to erase any of that, which is nice. So come in here, erase that, erase, erase. Okay, so that looks pretty cool to me. That's our, our final product and that's one way that you can kind of replicate this effect here in Photoshop. Now, they added some filters at the end here to add some colors, but if you notice that it looks very similar to that up into that end point where they add the colors. We have this here and they're just adding basically some different filters on there to uh, distort some of those colors there and you could do that as well. All right, that's all I have for this GIMP video. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this is helpful. If you like these tutorials where we recreate the Photoshop tutorials in GIMP, please let us know by hitting the like button and then leaving us a comment so we know what kind of content you're looking for in the future. All right, thanks for watching and until next time, we'll see you.